If you're trying to meet your higher self or if you are interested in psychic development, keep a journal. I cannot emphasize this enough because when I look back at my old journals, I didn't write in terms of like, this is what happened to me today and it was a bad day. Unless it was a good day, then I would put that out there. Um, but as far as the bad days, I would write about uh, observations I made or um, in prose form or get a little bit more creative with it so that I didn't have to put my feelings out there and that this is what happened to me because I didn't want to be made fun of or mocked if anybody found it, you know. So I, I was very kind of shielding my privacy with that. Um, but when I read those things, I think it was coming from elsewhere because I think I was channeling. And the reason I think this is because years later, which is more recent times, I found that when you're channeling, Handling things you don't really remember it and I remember my creative writing I remember drawings and paintings I did even as a teenager like I remember where I was at and what I was doing and and the thought process behind a lot of those drawings and stuff but with some of those journals they got really intense and it, it sounded like it was more about observations and parallels um, and then I look at that and even though I don't know what was happening, I can connect to the feeling and I can see my, my growth and my progress. Now, not only that, um, you know, when you revisit, you see that growth and progress, not only that, but I feel like it can help us to develop different skills. Like, um, I don't want to say automatic writing, but I'll say spiritual writing, um, which is one of my gifts and, you know, um, that's not, uh, you can't do that in some states. So this is why I say spiritual writing. Um, and then, uh, what else? Oh, October. October is where I go into autopilot and everything around me from my own feelings to feeling feelings from other people around me to seeing everything gets overwhelming. Before I did this professionally, I would seek people out to read them, like my friends and stuff like, Hey, do you need a reading? Because if I didn't, it would clog so much in my brain that it was like I had to get it out somehow and and say like this is what I'm sensing because it, it just got so overwhelming um and so February uh I would say mid-January going into sometime in March this is where I go kind of withdrawn and more into my own emotions and it's not so much an autopilot feeling as much as just I get really distraught and just really sad like I go into this sad little cocoon and then when I reemerge, it's like my gifts are still there but there's another layer to it like I don't know uh ascension I guess so this is why keeping a journal can